anything that falls under that explanation works. So what is advantageous to your team? For example, if you can have the enemy backline range damage dealers in the front. Or if you can blow away a warrior, so you have a free pursuit of their whatever, and the warrior isn't in the way. Or your whole team happens to find the enemy team from behind, for example with a portal or clever positioning. Initiation has many different methods. Sometimes initiation will happen due to advantageous position with your entire team as you're traveling around the map. Sometimes because of what a warrior does. And a few of the major initiation abilities in this game are very hard to use because you're controlling the entire fight with them. So it's difficult sometimes to oversee the consequences. Hold on a sec. Battlefield of Eternity. Sigara is very good here as well as Greymane. Not looking to pick up Greymane myself. Would not mind Sigara. So I'll be removing Greymane here. I'm thinking Sigara or Lunara. Or remove Gmane. So Sundering, Mighty Gust is great ways to initiate. Occasionally Murden jumping in can be a form of initiation as well. But it kind of depends on the opponent's follow up. If they throw a lot of basic abilities on him. That would be a bit of a mistake. So they have Sigara. At which point... Oh, you know what? Hey, 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 hey. Novus, you play Sylph. I am completely blanking out on how OP she is here. Let's go Sylph, you. I am terrible Sylph. God, why did I allow Sylvanas to pass through? So crazy. Chris Hall says, hey Grubby, how are you this evening? I'm doing very good, thanks for asking. Grubby, do you think the new Butcher could be playable in Hero League? No, I think so. So long as heroes like Uther, Medivh and Tyrael are a thing, Butcher will get the support that he needs. So long as people in Hero League do not always uh, counterplay ganking heroes, Butcher will be a thing. But I think he will still have a high skill requirement. Specifically about the knowledge of when to jump in. Now, which warrior would be most uh, disruptive to us? I think ETC could be fairly disruptive. Uh, ban what tank? ETC stitches, I think, would be disruptive. I'll, I'll remove stitches. Why stitches? Okay, we have two heroes that have a difficulty to get out. Yes, we have banshees, but it's it's not instant. If I get hooked, that's bad as well. And they already have Zugara, who offers a lot of vision through creep tumors. So hooks become a lot easier to land. We have a poke versus a poke comp, which means a very extended period of fight. During which time, hooks will be more frequent than in a kind of bursty fight. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure about Trey here. Because she's banned. They didn't have any hook follow up yet, I suppose, Cozy does, but if you get hooked into a team like this, as a Lunara, you're pretty much dead anyway. Depending on your support, obviously. Uh, furthermore, Rhaegar is actually not the worst hook follow up in the world. He gets one burst with his crit, and it will throw down a slow totem. I'm not feeling Diablo. Not sure, but the yeah. I think what would work pretty well uh, is Johanna. Yeah, Joe seems nice. Or Mura. Mura best, Joe second best. Mura just because of the massive staying power. Uh, Johanna because uh, she can uh, blind Zagara and Falstad, who have fairly significant auto attacks. And if you aim it well, you can also uh, blind the crit from Rhaegar, the Feral Lunge. Johanna here seems attractive because of that, but a Sonya with an ETC are very fast at killing an enemy frontline warrior like Johanna. Johanna has maybe the fifth highest health pool in the game, 
don't quote me on that, fifth or seventh, I feel like. Certain characters like Asmodan and Stitches have bigger health pool, Diablo. Uh, she's not the tankiest of warrior because of that. A lot of her tankiness comes from her trait, which is pretty easy to play around and to burst through, and her blind as well. But Sonya is more than 50% spell damage, if you look at the slam. Falstad also about 50-50. So, uh, Johanna would be required to be played very skillfully here, whereas Murden is a very reliable punching bag. Johanna's ninth, you think? Uh -huh. I never finished the initiation answer. I kind of did, actually. A way to start the fight and make it advantageous, however that is. So a warrior with initiation, for example, is Stitches. Or Tyrael, jump in and start Sanct. That is very advantageous if your team is on board. Whereas a warrior without good initiation is, for example, Artanis. He just walks up to someone and starts attacking them. He can face Prism, but you have equal amount of heroes out of position after that. I'm gonna go nature sculling, so I'll get natural perspective. Uh, all should be solo. Solo, you have a very safe solo laner who can take care of himself. I just love watching them wilt. I would have given her so much energy already. Intruders. Wow, infest on this map. That is unusual. I would expect volatile acid is so much better. That's actually a terrible choice. It's still strong, don't get me wrong, but wrong map, man. The Volatile Acid allows you to trade better on the Immortal and to poke from further away on the Immortal and to defend your own. I thank you. A punching bag mare. Be so say I'm a dwarf. Well then this is my last gold donation. Sad face. <laughs> Lol. Uh, I thought they were all gonna die. That was weird. Thank you, man. Murden. Sorry. I thought they should have all died, but there must have been some healing. Well, when I don't go nature sculling, I always get uh, cruel spores at level 1, so I can still wave clear. I know it didn't make a lot of sense the way I said it. I'm gonna go nature s natural perspective because I have nature sculling, but that's my reasoning. Like, I like spin to spear, but on maps where I need the objective, I get uh, nature sculling. We were always gonna lose this one because I don't have my level seven yet. I just love watching them this map is a little bit snowbally, and I feel like I know why. It's not just Savannah's and the boss. Um, I'm gonna go for time loss wisp. I was thinking dividing maybe. One of the big snowballiness of this map is the fact that the objective offers a very large amount of XP when you win it. There's only two lanes, so XP from an objective is even more impactful than otherwise. I truly believe it should not be giving XP. Intruders. Because the second Immortal usually finishes the game at, at pro play. A 
He's waiting to spear me, I know it, like a fish. Let's go. Taste my spear. This was never your land. I think if they remove the Immortal XP, the map will get a lot more balanced. I d I'm not a big fan of. Uh, um, I'm not a big fan of tapping fountain when the objective is not immediately necessary. However, gonna do it anyway because I need to hold her push. Ideally, thrall would be coming here to help. Nature's culling. I think I got the exact amount of auto attacks needed to kill him. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Fresh food for the Nice mirrored in play. So we got that camp. I'm dead. Damn it. Okay, I think uh, I think we're gonna get to 50% just like that. Really painful death by me. We have Barbed Shot now, which is a very big part of Sylvanas' damage on the boss. And nature sculling, but I think we have to defend for a bit. We have superior camps pushing. We have to defend harder than this though. We have to go in hard. And I need to hit it once or twice. Taste my spear. Just to strong. get a bit of damage started on it. Yeah, I should have stayed there in hindsight. I didn't know they were gonna do so well. I would have stayed if I had known. They did so well. Uh, someone is attacking it again, I think. Taste my spear. I like time loss wisp. You can kind of just spam it and you don't have to control it much. Taste my spear. I'm never gonna get it on time, so I should just go here. Oh, Fausta died. Well, Intruders. At least we got some shield damage on it. I just love watching Time for some reading. Blowing strong. No, I'm dead. Bad, bad, bad play, bad play, bad positioning. Gonna go for Thorin with Vine. So we're gonna lose this one. Oh wow, beautiful! Oh, <laughs> such a nice detainment strike by Beehive. Managed to stop the power slides positioning in a perfect location. Moshpit, Ancestor was about to go off. Wonderful avatar timing by Murden. But did he go too far? You go too far! Nope, they killed everyone. So well done. Gust, waiting out to finish the Ancestral. So good. Oh my god, yes! So good. Very nice. I'm a cheer cannon for them. So you can get the camp, but guess what is better? A camp is a means. Okay? An end is actually getting... Uh, it's better to just get the actual building, which normally a camp achieves for you. That 
was worth waiting for. Does he have leap? No, wrath. Nature reclaims all. This was never your land. Do we have slows? Yes. So I will get unfair advantage. I advise we make our attack here. This was never your last. Nature reclaims all. This was never your last. I think I'm really good at dodging Ariel heals. This was never your last. Thorn in your side. Growing strong. Nicely done. Oh, I feel power slide mush coming. Intruders. Oh, frack. Well, that was unfortunate. In before everyone did. Ah, oh, baby. Yeah, he used more sand at the top. That's true. Yeah, we should have probably just raced and taken 50% more um, shields off. Sucks. Uh, our heroics waiting is available. Pretty good salvaging of the situation. Yeah, we can fort die if that's true. Um, the range for the attack speed or choking pollen. Fine then. Uh, I'll get the range. Whenever you think, oh, this one is the best to go for, just don't go for them after you see that the score screen shows differently.
Time for some bleeding. I just love watching them work. Well, you can't run from nature. Well, uh, did he jump in? Time for some bleeding. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, uh, he jumped in. <laughs> we really didn't want or need that camp or wanted to start that way. I was just tapping it once so that I could start with spear, get my poison, get my vision, get my range. And we jumped in. We had such a good setup. We were fighting over there with good poke heroes. It is time for a change in strategy. Now we're gonna lose another immortal, probably a keep as well. So sad to jump in. So unnecessary. Life finds a way. Let's go. Alright. It's just one, a few catapults, maybe. Well, no, there's not too much die for poke to work. It's very easy to dodge ETC's things if you just stay in position. We just Let's jumped into a bruiser camp. Problem. It happens. This was never That Sundering could have been uh, godlike. Intruders. Where's the excitement? Taste my spear. Taste my spear. Growing strong. Oh, the godlike mall. Come on, they were supposed to all die. Jesus. God mall. We were gonna get two kills there. Oh, man. He dodged the only talent that helps with uh, wave clearing. Sledgehammer with uh, boss clear. One ammo could win the game, yeah. True. For the wild. The forest fights back. Mm. Fastad is busy farming level 20. Nice, they gave us a head start because they were still doing the camp. The That's good, but now they're going to be 20 and I think they will defend. Poke it down. Where's 
They chase pretty far. Time for some weeding. Intruders. I thank you. It's getting lit in here, boys. Number three wrecked. I'll get abolish magic. Nice. It's lit. It's lit, Dragon's fan. Um. We're a little bit low. One boomerang kills me. I need some heals. Nice try. Sonya is back. Cleanse you, Sylvanas, run! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, better than blueberry pancakes. GG. I know I should just hit the core, but one boomerang kills me. One boomerang. We did it, guys. Oh. Yeah, not this one, right? Yeah, abolish. Realized it. Because the abolish is the alt cleanse. It's the removal plus reduction of reapplication rather than the removal and the removal of reapplications for a second. It would have still been nice on Pirate Slide, Spear, and so on. I thank you. Grubby just won with a unicorn. Hash there's, 2016. There's still magic in this world, Dragon's fan. Just not for your poor children. Who will not be able to go to college now. Oh, man. I'm practicing abolish uh, arp sack. Here's why. I always forget to use my Z, Galloping Gate. Always. When I take it. And Forest Wrath, I feel like I didn't need it. It's good though. It's really good, of course. Savannah's build was Lost Soul with Lost Soul with Cold Embrace, Windrunner, Barbed Shot, and Overflowing Quiver. And Deafening Blast. Besides Deafening Blast, which would be Bolt of the Storm, I would say this is the very classical build, the best build, which has both both wave clear and push and team fight. But this is definitely a build you want on Infernal Shrines and Battlefield of Eternity. For Lunara I went for Time Lost Wisp so I can just spam it and don't lose mana in these very long extended poke fights. I've been playing every Wisp recently and I really like dividing, time lost. And I think this was the best here. It comes back so fast and it costs no mana. Yeah, nice damage really on Savannah's. And Nature's Culling for the boss. Natural for all the bushes. 
uh, Thornwood Vine because after uh, this is the best one with uh, Ariel. Unfair because we have loads of slows. And I say loads, but it's actually not true. It's a filthy lie. I think I could have gone for Giant Killer. Giant Killer I think might be better. This game. No, I know it's better. It was a big mistake. I thought we had lots of slow, but when you think about it, we only have Merlin's W. And he did take Thunderburn, but... Not Battle Momentum. So there really was very little slow. I should have gone Giant Killer, and I would really wreck Sonya and ETC. And for 20, if you don't want Abolish, it's perfectly okay to take others. I'm just practicing it. When does the PTR come out? Oh, very soon. Very, very soon. In two hours, the EU servers go down. Even only W itself is not enough to make it worth it to get unfair advantage. You generally I should get a greater you. spell shield or try and get it. I'm counting on my it. wife's next husband to be rich. <laughs> You're a funny one, Dragon's fan. <laughs> He keeps joking that he's donating his entire son's college fund, that his wife isn't very happy with it, nor knows his uh, hobby of, uh, you know, donating to his favorite stream. Favorite, right? Second favorite. Maybe second favorite. Uh, and uh, now he even can joke that his wife's going to find a new husband, which is really funny, unless it's true. And he's just really open to everyone. Didn't feel that way, Xiang. Yes, I did try Splinter Spear. I like it a lot. I would take it in all my games. Except some quick match games I will get Wild Vigor because I want to solo people. And objective map games I will get the poison on objectives. So if I play Dragonshire, I'm going to go for Splinter Spear. Let's go. Very nice. 